Through our experiences in English 9 Accelerated, we have learned the themes of responsibility, respect, diversity, integrity, and independence. We knew that these values applied to our daily lives, but we never thought they would have anything to do with us getting here. Responsibility. Doing your job will determine your boat's success. What school are you from? We're from Lyman High School from Orlando, Florida. Um, so, how does responsibility try to support a growing? Well, I mean, you have to be to practice it all the time, and a big responsibility, like if you're a captain, which I'm a captain of our team, our girls' team, and you just have to watch everyone. Uh, Canisius High School in Buffalo, New York. Responsibility plays a sport of rowing because it's very time demanding and you really have to work with your team. And you just have to be there for them at any time that they need you. Tomorrow, it'll be based on time. Like our best time is a 535, so if we try to get like a, like a 530 or like a 527 or something. When she calls power fives and tens, remember, pressure up. And when she calls the foxtrot, focus on every last stroke, thinking only of the pressure needed to win. Don't think of the ones you have to row, think of the one you're rowing. You can go from third to first, you can go from fourth to first, to that finish. So what you need to focus on while you're rowing is that consistency. Because if you kill it in the first 250, you're not going to have the energy to keep it through. So I'm saying if you can stay at like third or fourth for the entire race, and then when you get to that last 300 meters, you can all together do that one, two, and just put the power on. You can jump those other boats. And not only that, but when they see you coming, they'll get scared and they'll lose their technique and they'll fall behind. So focus okay. on that last 300 meters, okay? And have the best sprint you can possibly have because this could be your last time on the water. Diversity. Everyone in the boat is different, but we row as one. All right, so you guys are you're different people, right? And you, you all have different backgrounds. But if you go out there as one team, I'm serious, if you go out there as one team and you pull together, you can win this thing. And you will win it. But you, you just have to trust each other, 100%. You've got to trust each other, okay? You've got to love each other. And you've got to want to do it, not for yourselves, right? But, but for your teammates. Starting from heavyweight, lightweight, to flyweight. We have people who've been rowing since they were in middle school, people who've been rowing since the beginning of high school, and then like Anna Burns and I, we joined three months ago. So we have so much diversity in this boat, unlike other boats where they're all similar people. But with that diversity, we're still able to become one and row as one to come to where we are right now, which is national. Respect. Rowing is a team sport. You have to show sportsmanship. Go! Go! So what team are you guys from? We're from Robinson. And how do you think that respect um, plays into the sport of rowing? <laughs> Like, if you don't respect other teams, like, how are they supposed to respect you? And, like, sportsmanship is, we've kind of learned that's, like, really important to teams. I know not all teams have, like, the same kind of sportsmanship. Okay, so what team are you from? I'm from James Madison. Um, it's important to respect your other teammates because you, if you want to get respect too, and it's also the right thing to do. <laughs> It's really too bad that Dr. B, who we respect so much, couldn't make it this weekend, but Coach Andy Velosky gives you a lot to respect him for. Having grown at Cornell and been such a great central rower, his advice is definitely important and definitely something we all want to listen to. Integrity. No one but you knows if you're doing your job in the boat. So, Anna Burr, <laughs> how does integrity play into the sport of rowing? Well, I think that, well, first of all, here we are. We're at um, SRAs. This is the farthest any novice team has gone. And I think that it really shows how hard we've been trying. And that's the thing, is like, no one outside of the boat, no one really 
knows how hard you're trying. You're the only one who knows if you're pulling as hard as you can, if you're doing everything you need to. And it really falls to everyone in the boat to do everything they can, because they know what they need to fix, they know what they need to do to win a race for their boat. And no one can see it, no one else will feel it. But the fact that we made it this far shows that everyone in our boat does have the integrity to keep pulling, even when it's hard and they know that no one can see them. On the ergs, which are rowing machines, only you will know if you're being true to yourself and pulling your hardest. One or two people giving it their all for a few strokes isn't going to get us anywhere. So you're pulling for eight. So I think it's really important that you just like give it everything you have, every stroke. Um, well, you kind of just got to be true to yourself when you're rowing, I guess. Independence. On the water, there are no coaches or parents. We only have each other. I think rowing is a sport that has a lot of dependence in it, especially since we just started rowing this year. We have so many people back at the boathouse, like our coaches and our upperclassmen, that we're so dependent on to teach us how to row. But it also involves a lot of independence, because once we push off the dock out there and we out, we're out for our race, it's just our boat. And everything that anyone's told us throughout this year, we have to just have in our heads because we can't be dependent on them anymore. We're independent, and we just have to do the best we can by ourselves and with what we've been taught. And so I got to Alice and I didn't really know her, and I was like, oh, I can't do it. She's like, Alice, she's like carrying her water bottle, like, yeah, we can't do it. <laughs> and I was like, Alice, no tears. She did it. I cocked you up a hill, you tried to walk, I was like, let's go, pull your arm. <laughs> years of the girls. <laughs> this team right here, your group, three more years together. Okay? So don't no give one up. quit crew. Nobody no quit. Make it count. Don't, don't cry during this. Gabby, one, two, three. We are FT! You won't find nobody else like me. I'm not the reason that you go astray. 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 I'm not the reason that you go
Just like me